All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page so you see it right there on the screen. Today, we're going to be talking about LeBron James and Bronny James playing together. The first time in history I think this has ever happened, but we'll be back to discuss. All right, man, look, LeBron James, Bronny James, you know what I'm saying? Um, What's your take on this, man? Oh, before we get into that, I'm sorry. Hey, man, like, share, subscribe, cue cards on the screen. If you want us to react to any of your stuff, it's right there. If you want to donate to the Sketchpad, that's also on the screen, and it's in the description box. You know what I'm saying? Um, If we haven't earned your subscription or your... uh your sub today please consider subscribing thank you very much and everybody in the comments be nice to each other you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta disrespect each other we can all disagree we can all agree or we can all just dis- disagree to disagree or agree to disagree so look what's your thoughts on this man um and how you feel about it uh okay so a few things right um i want to touch a few points Before I get into, like, you know, the deep pastures of it. So, a lot of people are bringing up the the whole terminology nepotism. And um, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, um, you know, basically uh, give the meaning of nepotism and then go in a little bit on what I think of the whole situation. So nepotism is the act of granting an advantage, privilege, or position to relatives or friends in a occupation or field. These fields may include, but are not limited to business, politics, academia, entertainment, sports, religion, and healthcare. All right. So, breaking down to that, right, this is how I look at it. And I'm not asking people to agree with me or nothing. Um, I made posts on Facebook explaining what I felt. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people agreed with me. And I basically said that if you are a father and you were LeBron, you had the money, the fame, whatever, whatever, right? And you struggled to get everything you got, and now you got, and now you're on the top of the world. You have everything in the palm of your hand. You mean to tell me you're not going to use your resources to fast track your son to start him so then he don't have to go through what you went through? People do this every day. I don't know why, like, you know, people are are acting like this is something new. A lot of NBA players are in the league because of nepotism. You know what I'm saying? Does that mean that's a good thing? That means there's a bad thing? I don't think it's neither. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, what would you do as a father? What would you do as a father? The kid already been through a lot as it is as far as his heart condition. He recovered from that. And I strongly believe that if it wasn't for the heart condition, he might have been still in college and he might have uh, entered the draft probably the following year, depending on his situation. But nevertheless, you know, we're at this point and he's in the league now. Everybody's like all up in a roar because – He's in the league. Oh, it's too soon. Oh, it's this and oh, it's that. First of all, like, the guy's not going to start. We should know that. He's not going to start. You know what I mean? He's probably going to go to developmental for a little bit, get his stripes, 
get banged a little bit as far as like, you know what I'm saying, get his muscle mass up or whatever, and then come back ready to go. How long he be in developmental, that's probably clearly up to the Lakers and how LeBron sees fit. But for me, I don't see an issue with it, you know, and because if I had all the skill sets LeBron had and I hoop and if I had those skill sets, I probably would do the same thing for my kid too. But the difference is that I will make my kid work 10 times harder so then there's no excuses. That's just it. And I believe that's what LeBron's going to do. You know what I mean? I think it's the coolest thing ever. You, Nobody in the history has ever done this in the NBA. It's probably not ever going to be done again. And the marketing is going to be crazy. I mean, the Lakers are the first team to have this. You know, and it's probably never going to be another team to have it. But you never know. And the funny thing about this is we still got Bryce, who's right behind Bronny, who's coming into, who probably most likely will come into the league later in another year or two. And LeBron could possibly still be on the team. So it's like if he really wanted to do something, he could probably have both of his sons on the same squad with him. So, I mean, who knows? But for me, I don't got an issue with it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's pretty cool. And, you know what I mean? It's just it's just him guiding his son. That's how I see, you know. That's about it. Um, I really don't give a shit about nepotism. It is what it is. Like, who cares? I don't care what people think. I don't care if people think it's too early, too late. Oh, what the, oh, 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 some fat guy sitting on the couch eating a Klondike bar talking about something. It's still soon for him to be in the league. Like, you would never be in the league. <laughs> you can't even barely get off your couch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here with that goofy shit talking about something. It's too soon for him. I can't believe they put him in the league. Man, listen. Yeah. He's a great player, just like his dad. He deserves mm-hmm. to be there. Whether you want to say he got mm-hmm. fast track, slow track, it don't matter. Everybody will give their child an advantage if they could. And if he can make history Facts. by playing with his son, you think he's not going to do it? Of course he's going to do it. So all the people out here talking that nepotism shit, I don't give a shit about that. Because those are the same people who don't even, they're not even athletes. They don't even do nothing. They don't do nothing but complain. If he if he would have waited, they would have said, well, he should have put him in sooner and played with his son. Like anything he had done, LeBron, they would have complained about it. Anything he do, they're going to complain about it. You know what I'm saying? That's very true. So <clears throat> that's my thing with that. Now, as far as him playing with his son, this is remarkable. That this guy, mm. I think LeBron, I don't, I don't know how long he's been playing, maybe over 20 years now, or almost 20 years in the league, or something like 20, that. I'm not I think sure. 20, 20, I think 21 years, I believe. 21 years mistaken. of playing a professional sport, and you still is in physical condition to do it. He probably mm. can play another 10 years. Yeah, because he's he's in such physical great shape that he could do it. You know what I'm saying? When people mm-hmm. say LeBron James is the greatest player of all time, I have a question. I have an issue with that because I like Michael Jordan. I can't really argue the point of 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 him not being the greatest. I can argue the point that he's not the greatest, but I can understand why people would feel like LeBron James is the greatest because. Look how long he's been playing. And he still has it. It's not like he's trash. He's not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He physically, he's physically fit. He's a, he's a genetic specimen of no kind. There's nobody on this planet like LeBron James. Nobody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
So him playing with his son and maybe possibly his other son too, I could see that happening. He don't have to retire. He still has, he still is functioning. He still looks great. He still moves. And I could just imagine if he wins a championship with his son. That's nuts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> again, people can't just celebrate shit. That's why the internet is so trash. Cause I got a bunch of people on there who complain about everything. Even if you, if mm-hmm. you, this is how you know the internet is trash, right? You could give people compliments and they'll complain about it. You're like, oh, yeah. you're very nice looking, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Well, you see that. Why? Yeah. You think I am? I'm yeah. not. You, I'm not nice looking. <laughs> I'm not. Be like, you are. No, I'm not. Why do you keep saying that? It's like, you can't give people even compliments no more. So yeah. I don't care about the people, what they say, man. This is a great thing for the NBA. And I think that this is more eyes on the NBA. So it is what it is, man. Shout out to LeBron, man. You know, I think he deserved this 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 time to shine. You know what I mean? And yeah, he, his son does too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he already he already stated that this is one of his lifelong dreams to play on the same team with his kid. And you think the Lakers ain't going to capitalize on that? They I mean, they wasn't going to let no other team they wasn't going to let no other team capitalize on this franchise history type of thing. Like they wasn't going to let no other team capitalize on this. This is definitely historical, you know. Yeah. It is. So all right, man, we out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Sketch pad.